original concept came to me in 1996 when I was backpacking 1,500 miles on the Appalachian Trail. Um, one of the nice things about doing that was I had a lot of time to think. Originally what I was trying to do was um, decrease the saddle sores that you get when you're backpacking. So, you know, say you got a 40 pound backpack, uh, you got a big old waist belt and, and, uh, and, and, and straps. And uh, what I was trying to do was get the backpack to go in phase with the walking. You go up and the backpack needs to go up. But the backpack has its own mass, so it has its own inertia. Um, so it needs to be acted on by an outside force. So what ends up happening is, your back, if you go up, backpack stays still until it comes up, and then you get this type of motion. So what I was trying to do was make a backpack that would stick right onto your back. As it turns out, uh, we're making a tremendous amount of power. This is a device, uh, this is the N-Power Peg. Um, it's uh, designed to go in a backpack, a briefcase, or a purse. As you walk along, it harvests your kinetic energy, so your up and down motion, and it converts that into electrical power to uh, recharge your um, handheld mobile electronic devices. Just a little bit of motion. We're just simulating human walking yes. motion. This device is going to be going into the marketplace in July of this year, mm -hmm. so July of 2009. Craig Pollock. Retail marketing director for Tremont Electric. You live in Tremont? I do live in Tremont. Where are you from originally? Bowling Green. At the uh, Consumer Electronics Show, there was great response from the press, from retailers, from other uh, people throughout the industry. So it's been uh, it's been an exciting time. We can harvest kinetic energies in many different fashions. So if you had a piece of uh, equipment in a factory, say. Um, that uh, moves up and down with a repeatable frequency, we'd be able to harvest that motion and generate power on site. The technology is also scalable, uh, so we can make this device, say, the size of a Volkswagen, put it out in Lake Erie, and harvest the up and down uh, wave motions. Well, uh, each one of those units should be able to uh, create about uh, 250 kilowatts. Um, and uh, you know, just for a one-to-one -one comparison, uh, the windmill uh, that's outside of the uh, Great Lakes Science Center is uh, rated at 225 kilowatts. We're building a team uh, for the wave energy converter, which is our large buoy type of device, um, and uh, that should be underway within the within this year. Cost of uh, wave energy is going to be the same as same or close or comparable to coal. So if you had a farm of these things outside of Lake Erie, outside of Cleveland, mm -hmm. on the lake, we, we can we can harvest the wave action, be able to um, uh, send that power onshore, tie it into the grid, and be able to uh, power houses with uh, completely green um, electrical power. It, within five years, uh, we know that we can create uh, at least 250 jobs uh, for green energy.